Talking about sex with your mum is just the worst thing ever. I hope not. That is awkward. <laughs> Even reading it, I start to cry. What's up, guys? I'm Ace Butterfield. Hi, I'm Amy Lou Wood. Hi, I'm Mimi. Hello, my name is Shruti Gatswa, and we are the cast of Sex Education. Today, we're with BuzzFeed UK, and we're going to be reading out some of your fan tweets. Everyone loves the sex education mum until it's your mom and starts talking about sex during dinner. It's not nice when you're a teenager. No one wants to talk about sex. Your parents don't even want to talk about sex, but they feel obliged to. And then it's just awkward for everyone. So I can relate. My mum has now recently tried to start doing that more and it's traumatising. Because I'm like, we're not doing that, mum. Sex education really was ahead of its time with the whole wash your hands thing. Yeah, I remember. But yeah, yeah, um, and the masks. The whole of episode one is season two, everyone's running around wearing those N N N45 masks, whatever they're called. It was scary looking back on that, considering the year that we just had. Washing our hands, the masks, people just scared. I have always said this and I stand by it. Shooty is magical and he can see the future. I think the first time I, I realised people were using my face to say wash your hands was when someone sent me an NHS poster that had my face on it. My mum actually works for the NHS and when she caught wind of that, she found it very funny. This scene is too powerful, too meaningful, too important. Even reading it, I start to cry. It's so... I, I wonder when that's actually going to go away because every time I talk about this scene, I still tear up. Episode seven, season two, possibly my favorite episode of season two. Yeah, it's so nice to have like a real team of powerful women who not necessarily friends, but really find solidarity in each other. It's, uh, it was really cool to see. And I'm not surprised that people love that. It happens more than probably people realize. And I think gets brushed over a lot and uh, sexual assault. And I think that that is a, that's a really, really, really great scene. Women standing together is all we need. We need lots more of that. Sex education ruined me completely. I've been crying non-stop while watching the last episode of season two. This show is a must see. Well, I hope you're feeling better and recovered since then. You know, I'm glad we need to cry sometimes. We need that catharsis. We need that release. So I'm glad that, that, that you had it. You will most definitely see some uh, tear jerking scenes. There's going to be some emotional moments. I won't ruin it and tell you too much, but I hope that you'll be crying. That's what we're going for. Uh, the fact that I practically forced my mom to watch Sex Education with me and now she's obsessed. Good, because it's for everyone. So you should force as many people to watch it because then they'll get hurt. Start those conversations with your parents, friends. Let's get talking about sex, baby. I want to be best friends with the Sex Education cast. How do I do this? Probably very easily. We're all quite friendly people. Do you know what? Come to Wales, come and hang out. <laughs> We're all friendly people. Come and be part of the gang. Yeah, come round to the chalet. Come round to Otis's house for a cup of tea. Burp. Be right back. Crying about the beautiful ways girls support girls. Hashtag sex education. I'm also crying still every time I talk about the bus scene and the smashing scene and all of that. And I'm so honoured and grateful that I got to be a part of it. And it is beautiful. Girls supporting girls is beautiful. I think the more of it that we see, the better. And I think the more of it that is seen and shown, hopefully will encourage more of it taking place in real life, because that's what we need. Well, do you know what? I'm going to join you in the back there crying because that, yeah, all those scenes like Maeve and Amy scenes and all the female solidar solidarity in sex education is, is very beautiful to watch. I think all the friendships in sex education are very beautiful to watch. I love a cast that is so close and almost like they have been best friends forever. It really makes the show better on screen as well, sex education. The chemistry I think that people relate to on the show is real. And I guess the writers now kind of like write for us a little bit and write for our relationships a little bit. And so that's cool that we've gone to that point. We're so lucky that, I mean, that we all just get on so well and that we are so close. And I think especially for a show like Sex Ed, where you're potentially doing these embarrassing things, we're talking about these topics, 
it's nice to know you can treat we all have such trust between us to kind of do our bit and um we bring our best to the show because we love it and we love what it represents um this show is so good and actually respects inclusive queer affirming sex education not to mention it's diverse on so many levels including race gender and ability thank you at netflix that's nice i mean that's what we're trying to do um and i think laurie not just laurie the whole create team behind it have done an amazing job just very proud really and lucky to be be a part of something that's that's that inclusive that's the the whole point and i hope that we see more of that but yeah definitely lucky to be a part of it hopefully we continue to expand on that and and tell lots more people's stories but it does feel really cool to be a part of something that's doing that I'm watching hashtag sex education on hashtag Netflix and one of the characters came out as pansexual. I've never seen someone like me on TV. It's so nice to be able to see someone just like me. Yes, I'm glad that you feel seen. Yeah, I mean, the sexuality spectrum is so wide and beautiful and hopefully we can try and incorporate everyone, all, all those beautiful colors of the rainbow. I think it's really important that everyone gets represented because I can't imagine what it's like if you never see someone who's like you on TV. But that's one of the best things about the show. And it's probably one of the things that I hear the most is like people saying that watching the show has been the first time. Well, they felt like they were represented, you know, on screen in a character in a show, which is um, very special. Thank you so much for all your amazing tweets about the show. And thank you so much for your support. And we hope that you love season three as much as we loved making it enjoy season three and i'll see you on netflix